All right, the holidays are coming up and I am ready to play some video games. And thanks to Best Buy, we are gonna be taking a look at the Oculus Quest 2 today. This is the best way to just get into VR for an amazing price. It's only 300 bucks for everything. And it's an upgrade in almost every way from the original Oculus Quest. This is the new VR experience for everybody. All right, well, um, I'm in the menu system now. And this is also my first time trying to document VR and I, oh. I mean, I've watched VR videos before. It's frustrating <laughs> how much it does not capture this. Is this the house from Parasite? Oh, this feels a lot more like home. <laughs> the new headset is basically everything you need. It's a full console inside. And that's how I wanna look at this, is really like a console. I mean, if we're reviewing a PlayStation or an Xbox, it's not all about every individual spec. It's like, what is the full experience like? So important things to know is that even though this is branded the Quest 2, it's not fully a sequel from the original Quest, it is more of an upgrade. So all of the same games will run on both of them, but this is the new one, so this is what you're gonna find in stores when you're looking. I think the controller design is really cool, it fits well in your hands, it feels very well made, and they're extremely responsive. I mean, that's the most important part of all of this is that it feels connected to you, that your hands become one with the game and that your head tracking is accurate. I am the kind of person that can definitely get motion sick on boats and in cars, but fortunately, not in VR so far. But a console is only as good as its games. So I searched the internet for best Oculus Quest 2 games and I tried a few of them out. All right, let's try this. Oh. All right, training complete. Can I just stand here for a while? This is great. I wish I had some fake feet. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is so cool, okay. What happens if I put my head through the rock? Oh, oh this looks so painful. Uh-oh, where am I going, where am I going? Oh. All right, all right, all good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This game is really a perfect balance of the play mechanic of you know reaching and grabbing and how the controllers actually work because you are gripping so it's really quick to figure out that control. I just, I know what to do. I don't have to look at any control scheme. So the sequel to The Climb, cleverly named The Climb 2, is gonna be coming this holiday season. But so far, just playing the first one from a few years ago, this was one of my favorite experiences. It is such a good game. At first, you think maybe it'll just kind of be a VR experience where you, you know, you kind of like look around and don't really play anything, but it feels like a fully developed game and I'm gonna be spending a lot more time fake rock climbing. The model I've got here is the 64 gig version. So it's like relatively small. Um, I feel like, you know, you could keep maybe five or six games on here, depending how big they are. You know, Walking Dead here is eight gigs. If I look at some of the ones I've already downloaded, the climb is only 1.6. So it really depends on what you're into and what you're buying, but you could potentially fit quite a bit on here considering it's the small one. All right, Vader Immortal. If you can't tell, I am a Star Wars fan right here. Uh, let's jump into it. I'm not gonna do this lightsaber training. I know how to use a lightsaber. So this is a sort of interactive movie and game experience, emphasizing the storytelling a little bit more. The what, the what, the hyperdrive? All right, I know this from the Disneyland ride. Oh yeah. Okay, this is the most, I've really like felt like these objects are right in front of me until my head goes through it. Okay, nothing's happened yet. And I'm like, this is what I was promised with VR. I'm just like, I'm oh, in the space. Don't leave the space. It's funny, as I start to combine the movement with my hands and then in real space, now I, again, have no idea where I am in the room. This is Star Wars. This is what Star Wars is like. But it's happening in my studio. <laughs> All right, for you guys watching, it seems probably less exciting, but the physicality of being in this room, uh-oh, uh-oh. Look, if anybody from Oculus is watching, just please, more Star Wars games. That's all I ask for. Whoa, that's a big ship. Lots more Star Wars games. <laughs> I'm impressed how well it does connect to this up and down movement too. Like, it can tell that my arm is going up to a certain extent, like it's not, completely connected because it's still just using the controller 
to figure it out so it can't get it wrong, but it's, it's pretty close. Oh wait, and behind me, whoa. <laughs> so I'll be honest, I, um, I don't watch horror movies at all. <laughs> but I do like horror video games. Back in the day, I played all the Resident Evil, Silent Hill, so I do like the games. I don't know if I'm ready for it to be in VR because, all right, this is, uh, this is off to a queasy start. I really like the speaker integration here because I can very clearly hear what's going on. It actually has a, a little bit of decent bass, which I think was an issue with the old Oculus. Like it sounds good, but it can have really clear audio around me. I know what's happening. If somebody walks through the door, I can hear them. Nope, no, 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 thank you. I don't have guns yet. Hey, there it is. So do I have to go anywhere? Can I just, can I just hide? This is a bad idea. Why, why am I walking through a graveyard right now? Stay back. Wait, where's my flashlight? Stay back. Wow, this, this definitely needs to be censored from YouTube. Horror games are such a perfect and terrible fit for VR because you are very much there and it is stressful. If you're like me and you usually watch Walking Dead with the lights on, the VR experience is gonna kick your butt. <laughs> okay, one game I know is good from reputation is super hot, but I've never played it. I don't even know how to play it. Uh, okay, so far so good. All right, do I look as cool on camera as I feel in the game? Can I grab this? There's something about these vector graphics that just feel extra sharp, like even more so than the textured games. Okay, I fully <laughs> do not know which direction I'm facing in real life anymore. Just dipping my toes into playing super hot, which I guess that scald my uh, toes. <laughs> but just playing the demo, I get why people like this game. I would like to play a game like this that is a bit more fully realized. Whenever there's this complete vector graphic art, I still, I still kind of feel like I'm playing not a completed game. It's the skeleton of a game. So that's just me. I mean, what I really want now is a custom PC with a huge GPU so I can just play all the VR games, which you can on this thing, as long as you just plug it in over USB-C or you can actually stream it wirelessly as well. I think a very underrated VR feature is watching movies on a huge screen when you have no screen at all. I know you guys are just seeing a little cutout right now, but this looks so good to me right now. It is massive. And since the screens inside my lenses are higher resolution in the Oculus Quest 2, it looks really, really great. Like other times I've tried this in 3D, it feels like, you know, you might end up feeling like you have a bit of a downgrade in terms of image quality. This does not. All right, whenever we start flying again, all I want to do is bring this on an airplane and just sit back and watch <laughs> movies like this. I could do this all day. There are so many good games to play this season, and that's not just VR and Oculus. I mean, PS5, Xbox Series X, there's so much cool stuff coming soon, and it's all gonna be available at Best Buy, who's sponsoring this video, and you should go check out right after you watch this video. Or whatever, skip this video and go straight to the Best Buy website right now and check out the games that they have available. You can pick up the Quest 2 for just 300 bucks or 400 Canadian. I mean, you know this, Best Buy has all the stuff you need for gaming. They got the PCs if you wanna hook this up to a bigger rig, or if you need a brand new TV for the console this season, you can get it there too. Just go to bestbuy.ca, and thanks again, Best Buy, for sponsoring this video. Let's play a quick round of Beat Saber. All right, come on, you've seen better people than me play Beat Saber, you don't wanna see this. So if you don't know about Beat Saber already, it is like the breakout VR title, the must play for everyone. I'm still really bad at it, but you gotta try it. So yeah, put this in the, yeah, yeah. What is that? Virtual reality. I have to take the shears. <laughs> no, yeah, you can go. Oh. Oh, did you find the edge? I find it some wall. There's a wall, yeah, like, yeah. Like a glass wall. Oh. <laughs> After spending most of a day in the Oculus Quest 2, I'm happy to report that I feel great. It was comfortable on my head, didn't get any motion sickness, and there was a lot of details and finesse, especially to the interface, that really impressed me. The way that the Guardian system worked so that it felt like I really could just kind of walk around the room and exit the game safely. I never felt too confined inside of it, which is a big thing that stresses me out about VR. I don't wanna feel like I'm completely shut off from the world so that somebody could walk in the door and I wouldn't notice. And that's just how I play VR. I know other people wanna get fully immersed and you know black out the room and put on big headphones and just lose themselves in the game. This is not really what I'm into. To me, it's like traditional console TV gaming, 
but times a thousand because all of a sudden it got a lot bigger and it feels more real around you. But I'm not trying to like literally lose myself in it and forget the whole universe exists outside of the goggles. And that's maybe the best thing I can say about the quest. It made me still feel comfortable in real reality. Meanwhile, virtual reality does feel very real and present and right in front of me. All right, what games should we be excited about here? I'm gonna get the Climb 2 as soon as it comes out. I wanna play all of those Star Wars VR experiences. There's also a game called Phantom Covert Ops, which is a very boring name for a game that looks very cool. It looks like Splinter Cell gameplay, but the fact that you can't move your legs is taken care of by a kayak. You are just floating along peacefully, sniping people from your boat. If Battle Royale first person shooters is your thing, you're gonna wanna check out Population 1. It's a bit of a spin on Fortnite and PUBG, except you have even more freedom of movement, you can climb anything, there's jetpacks. There's Pistol Whip 2089 that looks like an awesome sci-fi shooter that I didn't have time to play today. But as soon as I'm done recording this video, I think that's what I'm gonna download next. So I mean, that's my biggest problem right now. I'm making all these dumb videos instead of playing more video games. Why didn't I start a gaming channel? Well, now that I have an Oculus, maybe I will. If you wanna pick up any new games, remember to head to Best Buy. And thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.